Hello. It's 4.27 p.m. on Thursday, 12.31.2009. Happy New Year's, everybody. I'm not doing shit because I'm on probation. And I've been watching a lot of videos on Christianity and atheism on YouTube. And it's sad how some of the atheists seem to be holding true to some Judeo-Christian principles more than the Christians that are readily seen on YouTube. And <laughs> I just uh, struggling with so much stuff right now. Like, I'd like to believe in God. I was raised a Christian. I would like to believe that there's something that loves me and is going to give me a happy afterlife. I try to talk to God. I ask God. I mean, everybody talks to God, even if they don't say they're of a religion. I mean, it seems like when I was in high school, there'd be kids who their mom would get in a car accident or something, and then they would like pray, oh God, please save my mom. And then, like, it wouldn't really bleed out into their life. They wouldn't start not carrying Bibles to school or anything. But it just seems like in people's weakness, they ask God for help, and I do that. I don't like, thank God when, uh, when good things happen, I'm just kind of enjoying the moment. But when stuff really gets messed up, like right now, I talk to God a lot before I go to sleep. I'm just like, God, could you fix this? Blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't typically say anything to me. In fact, I don't. Uh, there's been a few times when I've had voices in my head say things to me, but, I mean, is it just my inner monologue? Is it like, hey, I wish the world would have more peace, and I hear like, if you act in a certain way towards people, you'll bring peace into the world. Well, I don't know. I want to believe there's a God, but I I or if there is one, I really don't understand him or her. And I don't really see much of a difference between. Christians and non-Christians, it's just like, everybody seems to be the same, it's just some people uh, conform to certain things. But I think I have a few good questions, like, if there's any Christians out there who actually talk to God and hear from God, well, you're probably not on YouTube because you're getting a lot of information from another source, <laughs> but uh, one thing that really rocked me on YouTube was uh, a, a guy who's got a website, Why Doesn't God Heal Amputees, and that just threw me for a loop, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I've heard people say, oh, this person got prayed for and their arm grew back, but I've never seen it. And, uh, I was standing by my window and I was like, wow, people get prayed for and, this, I don't know, maybe the natural healing process gets people through certain sicknesses, but and there's all the amputees. And the thing that went through my head was, like, people who get sick still have antibodies, so... 
they don't get healed to the condition their body was in before they were sick. And an antibody is like uh, an amputated arm, kind of. Like, I guess I'd be defending God and being like, well, natural things happen and natural things stay. And, like, my mom was saying, like, she thinks she has heard of people getting their arms back. I've never seen it on, like, a uh, Christian TV show or anything, but I guess if there's a purpose for evil in this world and suffering, uh, I would have to use it as justification for the reason why everybody doesn't get healed and why there's still starving children and parasites and why there's a discrepancy in belief systems between atheists and Christians, and why they argue because there's natural sin in everybody. But that's just stuff that goes through my mind. I, I don't even... <sighs> I don't even know. I don't... I, I just... <sighs> well, if anybody has ever talked to God and hears from God and watches this video, that'd be cool to hear from it. And if there's any atheists who have an explanation for all my questions, that would be cool too. <laughs> Alright, Happy New Year's everybody.